I did some, uh, huh, words are hard. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday here at the Bingham House and we are very excited because we are doing something today that we haven't done in a very long time. What would that possibly be? Kind of a big deal. It is Donut Saturday. I went and got donuts. We haven't gotten donuts in a really long time. The three boys wanted chocolate bars. Brandon and Hazy wanted a glaze. I got a little fritter and hello frosting. Then I got two extras because I just wasn't sure. Hazy, are you ready for donuts? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we save that one so we can save the though we save this one for later? So, but that's one of the boys, and they're gonna want to eat it. Yeah, but I meant like the drizzle. Oh, you want to save the drizzle? Yeah. No, they're gonna eat it. Aww. Starting this day off extra, extra good. Can't wait to eat these donuts. Might have been a little bit of a magician and started dinner early this morning. You're having some Kahlua pork. Hope it turns out. It has to go for like nine or ten hours. I started it at ten o'clock. Could have started it even earlier. You know what? If we eat dinner at seven o'clock, that's okay because it's the weekend. There is no rush to eat early today. Are you guys ready? Hazy, you wanted a glaze. Mm -hmm. Was it good? <laughs> you loved it, huh? Okay, our house really isn't really messy, but this... just makes me feel completely out of sorts. Stuff sitting everywhere. Also, when the kids do VR, they move the chairs and the coffee table. It just bugs me. I'm gonna bust it out this morning, clean up this whole area. I do need to head upstairs and get some stuff done. I did a nice tight shot of Barbie. This is kind of how I'm feeling about today. I'm like, Ugh. I saw her hair and I was like, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about my kitchen right now. I'm just gonna clean up. Should we do this? I will say before I start cleaning up, I'm already starting to smell dinner. You guys, I did a pork shoulder in the crock pot. Brandon has done those on the Traeger before. This time we're doing it in the crock pot, trying to make Kahlua pork. It's very simple. I just did a pork shoulder. I did some Himalayan pink salt and liquid smoke. The recipe calls for about a six pound shoulder. I bought two shoulders. That one's only two and a half pounds, so I cut my recipe in half. Now I'm worried that it's not gonna be enough food for our family. I ended up grabbing some Hawaiian rolls the other day at the store, and you can do some baked beans, and I also bought a nice little salad kit. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. I don't usually cook dinner on Saturdays. I'm like, wait, is today Sunday or Saturday? I'm a little bit thrown off. Nonetheless, it's fun to try a fun recipe for a Saturday, but if you guys ever want any of our recipes that we make or talk about a lot, they're usually on the blog. Go on over to this howiebingham.com and you guys can check out the recipes there. Also, what's on the blog is our swag store. So all of the sweatshirts, beanies, hats, all that kind of stuff is on there. That's where you can head over to go get it. This is howiebingham.com. Standing here in the midst of this immaculate kitchen, mom just got that cleaning bug going on a Saturday morning, cleaning this thing spick and span. She's also going to be taking Rye Guy to his basketball game right now. She hasn't had the opportunity to attend one of his games yet this year. So the way that the city does it is you can only have one parent attend. Everyone has to sit very spread apart. You gotta wear masks the entire time, both the players when they're not actively playing and the parents in the audience. But if you even try and show up with two parents, it will make one of them go home. And they also take your temperature upon entry. So doing everything they can so that the kids can still play sports, still stay active, still continue to do those things while staying safe. Worked out pretty well so far. This time, mom is gonna rotate in. She's gonna take Rye Guy to his game. They're taking off right now. I'm gonna hang here with the kids. Mom, you're gonna go take Rye Guy to his game. Yes. You guys will have a blast, and we will see you when you get back. Rye Guy, crush it. All the things we've been working on, down low, play big, hands up tall, hands out wide. Oh, oh, get the rebound. Oh, put it back in. Oh, oh! Speaking of like this crazy, phenomenal frenetic energy, we just watched the vlog from yesterday. Frenetic energy? That's a pretty good one, right? Yeah! Oh, yes! Oh! Yes! Oh, we got him! If you guys haven't seen that yet, the drop it, catch it, keep it, it challenge. It was really good. I was there and I my hands were like sweaty. Watching. We watched like, it while mom was happen? in the laundry and she's like, my hands are sweating and I know what happened. I so. cried twice. Nautical <laughs> thing to do. She cried twice. It's, it's that good. Like, you laugh, you, you cry. You put that in the video. Oh, because it said logical and I said nautical, which means. Next plus a logical. The <laughs> next plus logical is logical. Right. The next logical choice, the nautical choice is to go watch that right now. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll sweat. It is so good. <laughs> Speaking of yesterday's video, if you saw I don't want to spoil it for you. Pause right now. Don't listen to the next thing I'm about to say. Go watch the video and then come back. Okay, ready? So if you did watch it, you saw that Crew actually won $100 in that video. What you might not know is that he's been saving up money for a while. Crew is phenomenal at saving money, saving up for something big. He's bought himself his own skateboard.
board, usually his own Switch games. He's really good at saving up large chunks of money where typically get 20 bucks burns a hole in your pocket. He got that $100, but he also has a lot of other money saved up. He was earning towards buying his very own Oculus Quest 2 headset. He's not so sure about that now. Now he's got the money for it. He could actually afford to get it. The option is presented in front of him. It's so much money. I think it's paralyzing for him to spend it. I'm going to go take him to Best Buy right now. We're just going to kind of walk around, see what his options are, see what's there. We've talked about saving it, hanging on to it for something even bigger, maybe shifting focus to something else entirely. His brothers have more than a few suggestions. They've been pitching and giving him ideas. So we're going to head off there right now, see what they've got, just kind of get his mind going on some possibilities. I told him, let's plan on not walking out with anything today. Let's just go freshen up that list of ideas. We are back from our trip to Best Buy. First of all, let me just say, that's a place I could wander around every day. I don't even have to get anything. I just like seeing what's out there. It was a ton of fun. Crew was able to bring Claire. She came over, whose opinion he values and respects. These two actually often get together and think about things that they want to save up for. So they have a few things that they're saving up for together, some of the things. But after we went through, dude, we looked at drones, cameras, Switch stuff, video game stuff, Apple watches, headphones. I mean, you name it. We looked at it. What are you leaning towards after walking out of there? Uh, I'm leaning towards the Apple watch. The Apple Watch, which one? The SE. So he's looking at a white Apple Watch SE is what's on his mind. I gotta do some research with mom because we think it may come with a cellular plan like where he could have a phone number similar to his Gizmo watch. So if we could actually call him and reach him on that watch, I'm all on board for that. That could be yeah, fantastic. That be but that's like of everything we had, he was like weighing it all out. He told him the picture like an Oculus next to an Apple Watch next to whatever else he might get. And he said of all of them right now, he's kind of feeling the Apple Watch because he doesn't mind sharing the Oculus with his brothers and they've been really good at sharing that. Successful trip overall, what we mostly wanted to do is just get his mind going on some things, pick out some stuff, see things in person and go, how bad do I want this? Out of that, pick an Apple Watch. Yep. Now we gotta talk to mom, we'll see. We'll see. Down here in the swag store, merch. I wish there was a name that sounded like store that started with an M. I like alliteration, like the merch matchmaker. Anyway, <laughs> mom's down here, filling orders, getting some stuff ready. She did a little Insta story just now, kind of laid out all the different things that we've got available. So get on the store, you guys. This is Bingo.com. Also discussing Crew's findings at Best Buy today, the Apple Watch, some of the other things he was comparing it against. But one of the things that's great about Crew is that there is no burning in his pocket. He is good to hang on to that money for a while to think through his decision. If anything, the decision itself is what cripples him. He can't pull the trigger. So it's nice to know that he's got options. He had fun looking, seeing what's out there, seeing what's available. And I think he'll think it through pretty thoroughly before he makes his final decision on that. Let us know, what do you think? What would you get if you had the cash on hand? What would you get? Comment below if possible. Smash the like button if you think the Apple Watch is the way to go. Or maybe head over to our Instagram and comment there. What would you do with that cash on hand? I know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go up and see how dinner is going because mom's had a pork shoulder, slow cooking upstairs all day. The house smells amazing. We're doing pulled pork sandwiches and I cannot wait. I am starving. Mom, you going to Costco haul? What do we got here? You know what? I was just saying in Insta stories, the best way for you to clean out your fridge is to have an entire thing of juice slowly leak all over everything. Wait, you actually said that? <laughs> yep. So, Sweet Brexy came in here to get himself a drink. When he went to get it, he realized there was some orange juice, so he started pulling things out to clean it out. And I thought that was so incredibly thoughtful and kind of him to clean it himself. It quickly became a bigger task than he could handle. As he pulled things out, more and more orange juice was revealing itself. Turns out there was an entire thing of orange juice that hadn't been closed all the way that had been slow leaking throughout the entire bottom shelf and is now, he has that much left, so the rest of this was somewhere in the crevasses of the fridge. So we have cleaned out everything, pulled everything out. Crevices, is that what you say? In the process, we were able to get a nice fridge cleaning. We've been doing some wipe down. When and I saw Brandon cleaning out the fridge, I was like, She looked around the corner and goes, what happened? flying? What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a fall off the bone, quite literally. Literally. <laughs> I've been able to sample this pulled pork. It is some of the best we've had. I don't know what mom did. She said it's just liquid smoke and Himalayan salt and the flavor is unbelievable. And it is so juicy, so good. We're gonna put it on some sweet Hawaiian rolls. Mom's cooked up some rice. It's gonna be a yum yum little dinner here. We got a salad on the side. On the whole today, we've got a clean fridge, a clean kitchen, and I'm about to clean my plate. <laughs> Here we go. 
these weekend nights, the kids get into bed a little bit later, which puts us in that kid-free zone a little bit later. So it is 10 o'clock. We still got one friend over here. The rest of the kids are in bed. So yeah. we're gonna get this night wound down and wrapped up. But I had to say, I was down there in the swag store. By the way, I thought of an M word, the merch market. Why didn't I think of that? Merch market. market. We're running a market. Uh, anyways, so. I spent the better part of my afternoon down there getting in everything the merch organized market. and everything. Mom posted on our Insta stories. Sometimes what we do is we put a little buffer in the quantity just to make sure that we don't oversell. She went back through inventory, found a few things, put them back on the store, post that on Insta. You guys jumped on immediately started buying them up. Yeah. So if there's still stuff there, go check it out. This is But We also listed some awesome limited edition gold Bingham logo stickers. They are now on the website. Jump on there, guys. Check it out. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We're going to enjoy a nice low-key chill day on Sunday, so guys. And we cannot that. wait to see you next week. Lots going down. Potentially an announcement about the kids' future school schedule incoming. So stay tuned for that. We love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. I did some hit, uh, <laughs> words are hard.